European Commission plans to cut CO2 emissions by one-third by the year 2030 in three key industries, namely in automotive, housing and agriculture. Uh, European Commission is set to present the justification of the need to cut CO2 emissions, uh, as well as technologies and investments required to meet these ambitious goals. Uh, it is almost certain that new requirements for car industry will spark fierce discussions between automakers, environmentalists and European policymakers. Uh, European car makers already managed to cut CO2 emissions by 30% over the last two decades. Uh, currently, car makers are obliged to cut CO2 emissions to 95 uh, grams uh, of CO2 per one kilometer by the year 2021, with this bar set to be lower to 70 or 80 grams per kilometer by 2025. And according to European automotive industry representatives, uh, it is simply impossible to cut CO2 emissions by additional 30% in less than one decade. Uh, European car makers fear that uh, new CO2 emission requirements uh, will require them to significantly up investments to new technologies that in turn might hinder uh, competitiveness of the European automotive industry. Uh, over the last two decades, car makers managed to cut CO2 emissions mainly due to improvements in uh, internal combustion engine technologies. However, to meet new requirements, car makers would need to up their spending on new technologies such as hybrid or electric vehicles. Even though EU provides 80 billion euros support through one of its uh, R&D programs, car makers fear that the support may not be enough and they, own, they need to up their own R&D spending significantly as well. However, there is a bright side under these requirements for component suppliers. In 2013, European automotive industries enter industry trade that also includes uh, component purchases, represented from 30 to 40 percent of total industry's costs. Uh, so, in case car makers are developing new technologies, this would be beneficial for component suppliers such as Bosch or Continental. Moreover, unlike uh, car makers, component producers are able to pass their cost incurred to the end consumers. So as a result of stricter CO2 emission requirements, we may witness the increasing bargaining power of component suppliers in the European automotive industry's supply chain.